the sky is blue, right? So when something happens without any sign, totally unexpected, you could say it happened out of the blue. What's up everyone? I'm Carter from What's Up English. Now, if you want to be able to understand native speakers, whether that's in daily life, like on the street, or in movies or TV shows, then you must know some idioms. There are many idioms that they teach you on the internet or in textbooks, and to be honest, those idioms are not so common anymore. Like, it's raining cats and dogs. No one really says that. So in this video, you're going to learn nine idioms that people still use to this day. And if you use them on the street in your daily life, you won't sound strange or unnatural. And remember, if you're Vietnamese and you're learning English, then make sure to subscribe to this channel because I just make videos for Vietnamese people and the goal is to help you guys learn real communicational English in the most effective way possible. So let's get started with the first idiom of this video, which is to be on the fence, to be on the fence. So to be on the fence means you have more than one option, but you haven't chosen an option yet. You're still on the fence. So there's a fence that separates two sides, or maybe three, or maybe four, and you haven't chosen a side yet. So one example of to be on the fence is, I really want to book a vacation this summer, but I'm still on the fence about where to go. It means you haven't decided which place you want to go for your vacation. All right, idiom number two is easier said than done. Easier said than done. Now, one could argue this is not really an idiom, but after I looked online, it said it's an idiom. So this idiom or phrase is used to talk about something that is easier to say than to actually do. So for example, if someone tells you, oh, you want to learn English? Just make some foreign friends. Well, you could say making foreign friends is easier said than done. Because first of all, it's not easy to make any type of friends at all, right? And making foreign friends is even harder because there's much less of them. So that's the perfect example to say easier said than done. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, but you're worried you're going to forget some of these idioms, then don't worry, I got you covered, because there's a PDF that you can download, which has all of these idioms, including um, examples, explanations, Vietnamese translations, and you can download this PDF in the description below. All you have to do is click the link and then it will bring you to my website where you put in your email and then I will send the download link to your email. So after the video, don't forget to download that PDF and let's go to the next idiom, which is out of the blue. Now, when native speakers say this idiom, we say outa instead of out of, out of the blue. So what this means is when something happens unexpectedly, like for example, if something just fell from the sky, it came out of the blue. The sky is blue, right? So when something happens without any sign, totally unexpected, you could say it happened out of the blue. Now, one example of this is, I almost got into an accident on my way home because a dog ran into the street. It just came out of the blue. So there it is, out of the blue, if something happens totally unexpectedly. All right, number four is to see eye to eye. To see eye to eye. Now this basically means to see something in the same way or to agree on something. So for example, sometimes my job is really stressful because my boss and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. All right guys, idiom number five is best of both worlds, best of both worlds. So this means to enjoy the advantages of two things at the same time. So for example, if you had a job where you got paid and you learned English at the same time, you could say with that job, you get the best of both worlds. For example, 
I want to work at a hotel so I can learn English and get paid for it. It's the best of both worlds. All right, number six is to think outside the box. Think outside the box. Now, this phrase means to think creatively. Think outside of the normal. Think of the box like your normal way of thinking, right? So normally we have a certain way of thinking and that is the box. But sometimes we have to change it in order to solve a problem or create something new and that is to think outside the box. So one example of this is marketing can be really difficult because there's so much competition. If you want to stand out, you'll have to think outside the box. All right, guys, number seven. Idiom number seven is to break the bank. So this phrase means to spend a lot of money. It's often money that you can't afford or money that if you spent it, you would really feel it. Like maybe it's not all of your money, but it's a big chunk of your money. We usually say this when we're talking about buying something that is expensive. So for example, cooking at home is a good way to eat delicious and healthy food without breaking the bank. Okay, the next idiom, idiom number eight is call it a day. This is used when someone decides to stop working for the rest of the day. So it's like if you've been working all day and you're tired, you want to stop, you can say, let's call it a day. For example, oh man, I've been working for 12 hours straight. I think it's time to call it a day. All right, so the last idiom, number nine, is when something rings a bell. So this idiom means when something sounds familiar, but you can't think exactly of what it is. So for example, if I asked you, hey, what is that song that's like, and you were like, oh, it rings a bell, but I can't remember the name of it. So if that song sounded familiar, but you can't remember exactly which song it was, you could say, it rings a bell. By the way, if you know what that song was, make sure to put it in the comments below. Now, we're going to do a quiz that will test how well you understand these idioms. So you will see a sentence with a blank in it, and you have to choose which idiom would go with that sentence. All right, let's get started. To solve this problem, we really need to... To solve this problem, we really need to think outside the box. She called me to hang out after not speaking for years. She called me to hang out out of the blue after not speaking for years. I can't decide whether to buy a laptop or a tablet. I guess I'm about it. I can't decide whether to buy a laptop or a tablet. I guess I'm on the fence about it. Buying a new motorbike would definitely for me. Buying a new motorbike would definitely break the bank for me. Learning to play the guitar in just one month sounds easy, but it's actually... Learning to play the guitar in just one month sounds easy, but it's actually easier said than done. Do you remember Steve from high school? Uh, the name... Uh, the name rings a bell. They get into a lot of fights because they never see on things. They get into a lot of fights because they never see eye to eye on things. We've been at this for hours. Let's and continue tomorrow. We've been at this for hours. Let's call it a day and continue tomorrow.
Working remotely means I can travel and keep my job. It's like having the... Working remotely means I can travel and keep my job. It's like having the best of both worlds. All right, that's it. Hopefully you got all of the quiz questions correct. If you didn't, then don't worry. Of course, you can always watch this video again and remember to download the PDF so you can review and practice these idioms. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. But if you want to keep learning English, then make sure to go to this video right here, which is my podcast all about Vietnamese food. So if you're hanging out with a foreigner at a restaurant or you want to do a food tour or you just simply want to tell somebody about Vietnamese food, that's the video for you. I hope you have a great day or a great night and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.